wound back to one of the world's most dangerous supervolcanoes, which borders between North Korea and China. Volcanologists recently raised the alarm at supervolcano Mount Baekdu, or Baekdu, also known as Chengbai, in Chinese, responsible for one of the most powerful eruptions in human history, is rumbling and threatening to blow up once again. Experts know it all about this 9,000-foot-tall volcano, yet recent studies suggest it could be on the brink of a major eruption that could have a devastating global impact. The volcano had been quiet since its last major eruption in 946 AD, until it came alive in 2002. From 2002 to 2005, there was a series of mini earthquakes caused by seismic activity within the volcano. Although it went silent again after 2005, the brief activity alarmed the North Korean authorities and forced them to set aside their policy of isolation and secrecy. In an uncharacteristic move, they reached out to neighboring countries, including China. They also contacted top scientists in Western countries and asked for technical assistance to study the volcano. The outreach led to a rare collaboration in 2013 between a team of North Korean experts led by Rai Kyung Song of the Earthquake Administration and a team of Western scientists led by James Hammond, of the University of London. Despite the ongoing bitter feud with the West and an unwavering policy of isolation, the North Korean government granted the team of international scientists, including experts from the UK and the US, access to North Korea to help local experts study the supervolcano and assess the risk of an eruption. The results of the study were published in the journal Science Advances in April 2016. Data collected by the experts showed that Mount Pekta was still active and that it could erupt. But the scientists said they would like to return to North Korea to conduct more detailed studies to improve their ability to predict when and how the volcano could erupt. According to the United States Geological Survey seismologists, data collected during two years of monitoring Mount Pektu indicated the presence of partially melted magma in the volcano. This indicated to researchers that the volcano was still active and that it could erupt violently in the future. The scientists warned solemnly that an eruption similar in scale to the 946 AD event could prove catastrophic and the risk of a destructive eruption here is very real. Following initial evidence that Mount Pekta could erupt, scientists warned in a study, published in the journal Nature in February 2016, that disturbances caused by nuclear weapons testing by the regime of Kim Jong-un, North Korea's dictator, could upset lava that has accumulated beneath the surface and trigger an eruption. It is believed that the eruption of Mount Pektu in 946 AD might have ejected a greater amount of sulfur into the atmosphere than estimated by previous studies. Experts consider Mount Pektu's eruption in 946 AD as one of the most powerful in history. The eruption was so powerful that it threw ash as far as Japan, about 683 miles away. The force of the eruption blasted 3.1 mile wide caldera in the summit of the mountain. It is estimated that the amount of sulfur that the 946 AD eruption released into the atmosphere was greater than the amount released during the eruption of Indonesia's Mount Tambora in 1815. The Tambora eruption caused global temperatures to plummet, leading to a volcanic winter, the so-called year without summer. Before wrapping up, I would like to take a moment and throw a shout out to a Calamitigo slash forecaster. She has recently thrown her hat into the video creation, production ring. And I tell you what, folks, she has created some powerful videos that I think you will enjoy. With that being said, keep up the good work, my friend. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this to be interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. While at it, post your thoughts on this and whatever else is on your mind below. If you like the social media thing, 
You can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great day guys.